everyone. I am Jasmine. I am Dominique. And we want to welcome you to PQV TV. This is our fifth episode. episode. Little insider, that's the number of grace. Just want to let y'all know that. <laughs> for, just for the record. But um, we're so excited um, for this this recording. Um, I feel like everyone is in different seasons mm -hmm. and walks in their life. Yeah. And it's not always the same. It's not always the same. So we want to just touch on basis on what season that we are in within right. our life. Because it's totally different from what my sister Dominique here is right. in. And it's totally different for me. Right. So, and we know that even our viewers, everyone's in different seasons. You might be in the season of sewing. You might be in the season of God is literally stripping everything from you. Right. You might be in the season of, Lord, you want me to pray for an hour each day? It can be different right. for everyone. So <laughs> we're just going to share our season and what we're in. Just a couple of things. It can be discouraging sometimes when you're going through your season because you feel like you're going through it alone. Right. And you're not. There are some people that are definitely going through the same thing you're going through, but it might not be someone close to you that's going through that. Um, just for me, I feel like I'm in the season where I don't want to call it self-doubt, but like I was sharing with my sister before we started, I, I'm, I can pray for someone. I can lay hands on someone. I can encourage someone. I can speak the word over someone. But then when it comes to me, it's almost like I feel like I'm exempt from the promises of God. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, but why is that? Like, it's so disturbing because I'm like, I read the word and I'm right. like, I, these promises that I'm speaking over people's lives and these promises that, where I'm praying for people, that, me too, I'm not exempt. And so I had to realize that and that, that was nothing but the enemy. Right. Like, and I was like, let me switch my mindset. Let me let me switch it because an adjustment. Yeah, let me I'm gonna just turn that off. I gotta go. I really was like, this really has to go because honestly it's it was unhealthy because that's almost like being fake. Like, you know, okay, I can pray for you, um, I can encourage you, but then when it comes to me, I feel down gloom like that don't that don't mix and I'm right. like hold on I'm I think a lot of people go through that though because I hear a lot of people say it like I can encourage other people but when I go through my mess I don't know how to get through it like I think a lot of people go through that for some odd reason right I go through that too I think that's a good way of showing that you're a servant to where you're mm. more thinking of other people and mm -hmm. you're more encouraging other people rather than always just thinking about yourself. Yeah. Like, I think that's a good mindset to have as a servant. Like you're right. able to serve other people. You're able to encourage other people, but also you have to practice what you preach yeah. and that, you know, yeah. in, in our alone time with God, that's yeah. when we build that up. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people go through that. I've been through that situation. And it's too. It's couple hard. Times. Couple <laughs> Um, just if you're in that season of just feeling like the promises of God does not pertain to you, I want to encourage you to switch your mindset. Like, God sent his son, Jesus, for everyone. So why would I be exempt? Right. Why would you feel exempt if you're feeling like that? Like, that don't make no he's sense. He's no respective person. Exactly. Meaning, it's not like he's just going to do it for One her person. and not mm -hmm. do it for you. Mm-hmm. But that's when your faith comes into play, too. Like, yeah, your faith can't get low when it's time yeah. for you to receive something. Like, your faith has to, he moves off of faith. And yes. all you need is faith the size of a mustard seed. And, it's you know, <laughs> that's real, real small. Real small. <laughs> <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, do you believe? Like, you know, doubt is of the enemy. Fear mm -hmm. is of the enemy. That's right. not of God. God gave us the spirit of power, love, and of a sound mind. When... When you're in your season, you're in your private time, and I heard somebody say, well, you're on a honeymoon with Jesus. That means, like, you just, <laughs> you and Jesus, we here. Like, I feel right. you. You talking to me. I feel your spirit. I I just feel peace all around. And then it gets to a point where you don't feel nothing no more. Mm -hmm. And then you like, okay, but what happened? Right, like, where did what you did go? I do wrong? <laughs> like, that? what happened? <laughs> no, seriously. We, we start... I, me like I was doing that like I was like Lord I don't feel you Lord um 
you not talking no more. Lord, what happened? And I, somebody said, that's when God is transitioning you from baby food to solid food. And that's when God is like, okay, I need for you to grow. Right. And then that's when the faith come in. It's like all of a sudden, don't lose faith when you don't feel God. Mm. Don't. Because that feeling thing, that's a lie too. That's another video. But <laughs> <laughs> a whole topic in itself. A whole topic in itself. Like, faith is really... God is, there was a scripture um, in Mark, and he said, do not be afraid, believe only. And I was like, <laughs> that, there it is. Right. There it is. So if you're in that season of just self-doubt um, or feeling like the promises don't pertain to you, they do. Because like my sister said, God is no respected person, and he does not show like favoritism. Like the Bible said, not me. Right. <laughs> like she, yes, like she quoted the scripture. But Yes, just know that they pertain to you as well. So, yeah. What are you going to share with us, my dear? Um, My season, I'm in a season of being content in wherever I am. Um, I know, I believe it was Paul mm -hmm. that said I learned to be, be content in any state that I'm in. I'm in a season of trying to develop more ways to be emotionally and mentally healthy. Um, not just things on the outside or things around me and focusing on if this not right this not right like you know I haven't been like okay God like what's happening like where are you at like you know but it's like you gotta be content like you know the scriptures like you know like everything mm -hmm. you study it shouldn't go void like mm -hmm. you know like the things that you studied is a reason God gave you those things to study at those times for That's you good. to have it in your backpack, have it in your thinking cap, like, okay, I studied that, this is why God referenced me to that yeah. section of the Bible, or that, you know, and I'm just trying to be content in whatever state that I'm in, like, you know, not trying to get so over-emotional mm -hmm. when things are not going right, or um, just not, even within myself, like, trying to not focus on, like, when someone has an opinion about something I've done, or something... Um, or a characteristic that I may have, like, oh, you're so this or you're so that, going back to my mind, like, am I that? Like, am I that? Instead of knowing what I am and understanding. Understanding is so important, like, because mm -hmm. you, you have to understand that everyone's not where you are. Everyone doesn't mm -hmm. have the same mindset as you. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say that I'm so bold and I'm so um, too honest or too straightforward. I don't know any other way to be because that's it's how I was Lord, raised. Yeah. And, you know, I guess that's the hand that God gave me, like, yeah. boldness, like, yeah. you know, and sometimes I feel like, okay, am I too bold? Like, should I tone no. it down a little bit? But God is not going to bless who he didn't create. So if he didn't create me to be this little mouse in a corner <laughs> and I try to be this little mouse in a corner, he going to be like, who is that? Because that's not who I made you to be, you Amen. know? So being mentally and emotionally stable in where you are spiritually right. as well, <clears throat> sorry, it all goes hand in hand. Mm -hmm. So... I'm in that state in this season, like being mentally stable, yeah. being emotionally stable, not attaching yourself to things rather than what God is trying to show you right here, right now. Like, you know, focusing on God and, you know, being connected to the vine completely. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> yeah, so that's the state that I'm in, being emotionally and mentally content. You know, and focusing on God and knowing the plans that he had for me because they're all to prosper, yes. you know, and not being so down on myself. Well, I want to just comment on what my sister said. Like, she was saying that people might have things to say about her being so bold. Um, God created everyone different for a reason. Mm -hmm. So the people that she can minister to, I might not be able to minister to. The people that I minister to, she may not be, be able to minister yeah. to, you know. And I just think about, you know when she's being bold like them demons gotta flee like I, I'm just saying like we ain't gonna be like excuse me um <laughs> can, you can you go no it's you need to go in the name of Jesus right. like you need to really go right. so I feel like the boldness that she has is it's amazing and if God made her bold and that's like a characteristic like he was like Dominique, that's my daughter. Right. She's going to be bold. That's stamped on her, her whole being that I have created. Like, I mean, a lot of people can't take it, you know, so that's mm -hmm. why I'll be like, am I too bold? Like, am I too straightforward? Because a lot of people can't take it, but that's how I was raised. Mm -hmm. Like, wasn't nobody like, here, little baby? No. My yeah. mom was like, "Pick, put your big girl panties on and roll with the punches in. 
get out there. So, mm-hmm. like, when I'm telling somebody something, I'm giving some advice, like, it's kind of in that context because yeah. that's how I got it, you right. know? But, yeah, God has, he when has he puts way. people in your life, he's putting them, he's putting those people who can handle what you have to give. So I think <laughs> it's just the boldness that you have is amazing, and, you know, God is going to use that. God right. don't be wasting nothing. But um, And all that you give, you're going to get back. That too. you're not exempt from any Amen. promises, especially when you do his work. You're being his servant, so he's I gonna serve it. you. <laughs> Amen. I receive, I receive that. Receive it. Receive it, our viewers too. So, <laughs> comment what if you want to share what season you are in, because um, you never know. Um, somebody might read your comment and, and reach out to you exactly and say, "Hey, you know, I'm going through this." Like. What are you doing? Right. How are you getting through this season? And so, it's good to see other people going through different things mm-hmm. and what they learn from it. So mm-hmm. you could be like, "Whoa, that's good!" Like, you know, it could marinate up in you. So you, you know, so it's good to see what everyone else yeah. is going through because no one's just so perfect, and that's a part of being transparent. You know, you're stating what you're going through. We're not like closed in or you know trying to be these perfect pictures like we go through things just like everybody else it's a part of ministry so share comment share what you have all that let us know what season are you in yes we want to hear i want to hear too Mm -hmm. because even though i'm in my season i still want to hear right so (laughs) please share yes we love you guys love you you. bye thank you episode number Woo! bye have a blessed week